Well, sorry. Good, good morning and uh, Merry Christmas. Um, yes, it's that time of year. Now, we're going to have a story today about this character. You know him as Santa Hadabudji. We know him as Father Christmas. Some people call him Santa, but his real name is Father Christmas. But this has got another character in it as well. Can you see there in the corner? That's the Tooth Fairy. The Tooth Fairy is in the story. So let's read it. The Tooth Fairy's Christmas. One cold Christmas Eve, it was snowing outside when the Tooth Fairy opened the letter and sighed. I was hoping to have a night in, that's the truth, but little Timmy Tucker has lost a tooth. So look, if we see there on the window, there's a Robin Redbreast, our national bird in this country, and our Christmas bird as well. And there's the Tooth Fairy, hoping to have a night in on Christmas Eve, but she's got work to do. Who else works on Christmas Eve? Hmm, I wonder. The winter wind blasted her. This way, that way, it blew up her knickers whoo, and blew off her hat. Whoo, oh no. She shivered in the cold from her ears to her toes and an icicle grew on the end of her nose. Now you can see I've got icicles growing from the end of my nose at the moment. Oh, oh sorry, you need to see some pictures. Don't you? So here she is, floating across there, whoosh. All the things, and it's blowing up her niggers. Oh dear, sighed the fairy. I seem to be lost. She said as she brushed off the snow and the frost. But hold on, what's that? Something's heading this way. It's something that jingles. It looks like a. And what rhymes with this way? I think it's going to be the word sleigh, because that looks like Father Christmas and his reindeer. Come in. Here he comes. A sleigh, yes, look, and there's Father Christmas. And the two fairies jumped on board because they're chums, aren't they? Good evening, beamed Father Christmas. You do look a sight. Why are you out on this freezing cold night? I'm off to see Tim Tucker to give him a gift, but I'm lost. Father Christmas chuckled. Ho, 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 I'll give you a lift. So there they are, as I just showed just before. They jumped on the sleigh and they're off. Father Christmas was going to give her a lift to Timmy Tucker's house. Whoosh. They came to Tim's house, but the chimney was blocked. Oh no, Father Christmas said. And the doors are all locked too. Oh, the chimney was blocked. Did I say blocked? Sorry. Don't worry, the two fairy chuckled with a glee. There's a hole in that window. Just leave it to me. So look. Together, they're working as a team. Timmy Tucker will be happy tomorrow morning, won't he? She waggled her wand and said, hubbledy fubble. And at once they were wrapped in a shimmering bubble, which instantly shrank to the size of a fly and flew through the window as easy as pie. There's a nice simile there. They, sa they sailed through the house to Timmy Tucker's door and pop! They were both the same size as before. So here they are. The fairy's magic's making them the size of a fly. And then all of a sudden, they're back to their normal sizes again. Mind you, the tooth fairy's not too big. As they entered the darkness of Timmy Tucker's room, the fairy helped Father Christmas to see in the gloom. She whispered, watch out for that train by the bed. But he trod on a, he, but he trod on a small squeaky teddy instead. Squeak, squeak. So look, there's the Tooth Fairy using her magic light to guide Father Christmas through the house in the dark. Wow. The Tooth Fairy thought, don't wake up, little fellow. And she silently flew down to little Tim's pillow. She swapped the old tooth for a coin from her sack and whispered to Father Christmas, now it's time to head back. But there they are, doing their bit. She's dropped a coin under his pillow so he can, you know, for his tooth. But Father Christmas has got something to leave, I'm sure. They slipped from the bedroom, but there in the dark sat Timmy Tucker's puppy, who started to bark. Woof, 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 woof. Yikes, cried the tooth fairy. Now we're in trouble. Run for it, Father Christmas. No time for the bubble. So here they are, hurtling down the stairs, because there's that little puppy. Yap, 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 yap. They ran to the window, 
Then what rotten luck as Father Christmas climbed out. His big bottom got stuck. Ho, ho, ho. It's all, those, all that milk and cookies, isn't it? The two fairy pushed with a heave and a ho. Ha, ha. And together they fell in a heap of snow. So there's Father Christmas, his big round bottom getting stuck in the window. And two fairy pushing, pushing, pushing. And eventually they fall out the window into the snow. Giddy up, Rudolph. No time to delay, cried Father Christmas, as they both, as both of them leapt on the sleigh and off soared the sleigh through the snowstorm once more. <sighs> Till it came to halt by the tooth fairy's door. Thank you for helping me out this weather, she said. It was lots of fun working together. And thank you, said Father Christmas, for helping me too. I couldn't have left Timmy his gift without you. So here they are, the two of them, the two fairy, Father Christmas, having a thanks, saying, yeah, look, we work better as a team, don't we? Night, night, then, dear Father Christmas, the two fairies said, and soon she was fast asleep, tucked up in her bed. So she didn't hear someone slip in, in his socks, and reach in his sack for a brightly wrapped box. And he lay it down silently under her tree. Look, that's right, it's Father Christmas leaving a present for the two fairy. Oh, I hope it's a nice present, don't you? Sleep tight, said Father Christmas. Merry Christmas from me. Here he is. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. And there he is, flying off to deliver the rest of his presents on Christmas Day. Well, that was a good one. Love you all. Bye-bye.